Okay guys, today we're doing basic CSS Attach a fallback value to a CSS to a CSS variable When using your variable as a CSS property value, you can attach a fallback value that your browser will revert to if the given variable is invalid Note, this fallback is not used to increase browser compatibility and it will not work on IE browser, ra rather it is used so that the browser has a color to display if it cannot find your variable. Here's how you do it. Okay then, let's see the show. So this will set background to black if your variable wasn't set. Note that this can be useful for debugging. So let's make the penguin skin. So first, hmm. Variables can have fallback values attached. These are used if for some reason the variable won't work. It could be because someone's using an older browser. That Wait. My cheek. Okay, hmm. Let's watch a video. Variables can have fallback values attached. These are used if for some reason the variable won't work. It could be because someone's using an older browser that doesn't use CSS variables, or maybe just the variable name is spelled wrong. See, that's what's happening here. See, it says penguin. penguin. That's spelled wrong. But to show that, that's just to show these fallback values. So what I'm going to do is just add the word black here, and then here I can add the word black. And now let's just refresh this. So first. First, so we're gonna put this, then put the lock. Then we made the bottom of the penguin black, and then the penguin bottom. Hmm. Okay, now we're gonna go to the penguin top, and then put the same exact thing, like put this, and then put make it black. So now we made the top black skin because there was no skin before. So now let's run the test. The crowd goes wild. 
Okay, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.